What is happening, Menham family? Duh, 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 duh. I'm getting a little bit boozy right here for a moment there. So, what's going on, everybody? So, with that being said, I gotta talk about something, you guys. That's one of the most interesting reptile controversies in the reptile community. Some people do tend to talk about it from time to time, but not quite as often as we think. Can reptiles feel love? This has been a controversy for several years. While it's kind of been... For, in the reptile community, it's kind of been debatable, like on the fence 50-50 here. But for the last couple of years, it does seem like a lot of research recently has shown a little bit of evidence that some reptiles do show a little bit of affection. In particular, you guys, iguanas. Like, for example, like rhino iguanas in particular, I should say. Because rhino iguanas in captivity, you know, when they start out when they're babies, you know, they're known to be kind of social for a while, but when you actually buy one, for example, you know, it's kind of going to be a little bit freaked out at first because obviously when it sees you as when it's a baby, it kind of at first thinks that you're a predator. But after you actually kind of use caution with the animal, kind of offering it some food, you know, like some vegetables, maybe a little bit of like mealworms from time to time. And actually as it gets a little bit bigger, you tend to try and gently then start to handle the animal. It eventually starts to lose that fear of you. And I've actually seen some video clips, for example, like whether if it's like from my good friend Brian with his rhino iguanas, they're very, very social around people, you know, and they're kind of like dogs almost, especially in particular his rhino iguana, Bella, who he's had as literally for several years. She's just an absolute sweetheart. Like every time he opens her cage, she literally comes down from her, from her like he, like from her hot spot right towards the, the doorway there. And she always likes to be petted and it's just so cute, you guys. And then there's, of course, uh, Kevin McKeeley from Nerd, who they have a couple of rhino iguanas, and one of them in particular is kind of like a guard dog, because um, there was this clip that they showed on their Instagram where they're running down the hall away from their rhino iguana, and the funny part is the iguana starts going, running after him with his mouth open, like, kind of almost like he's happy or something, kind of like a dog playing around with somebody. But with that being said, though, it really, I guess, depends on the variety of reptile species you're thinking of. When it comes to snakes, though, this is a very, very difficult one to figure out because obviously when we look at snakes, you know, a lot of people think that they're just blank, you know, they don't show any emotion or they just show no interest, you know, but the reality is, though, I don't know if there's been enough research in snakes done yet. But with that being said, though, do I think snakes show any affection at all? That I can't be 100%, I can't 100% say yes, but I can't 100% say no. So, I just think there needs to be a lot of research done to figure out the emotions of animals. I mean, obviously we know many mammals out there, besides cat and dogs, do show some emotion out there as well. So, I don't know. I feel like maybe a lot of research has got to be put into this, but what, if, what are your guys' thoughts down in your opinion? Feel free to express it down in the comments below. Because right now, it's just, in my opinion, I think a lot of work still has a lot to be done about these reptiles' emotions. Hi. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bagheera? Hi. What? I heard you speak. Say something. Can you speak up? Speak up. Oh my goodness. You're so funny. <laughs> he was literally talking to me so much, literally moments before I turned the camera on. What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Oh, what? What are you doing? Oh. oh. I heard you. I heard you. Yeah. It's actually kind of not too shabby out here. It'd be nice if the clouds would clear a bit more. I don't know, you guys. I wonder how my how the neighborhood would feel if I took all my clothes off out here. Be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Want to, I guess they don't want to see a streaker out here. That's for sure. <sighs> ah, so glad it's finally spring, everybody. I've waited for months, months. I tell you, months. Whew. I've waited it. And by the way, you guys. I actually did some bass fishing this weekend too. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this brief clip on my GoPro, you guys, and uh, tell me what you guys think of this moment for you. Oh yeah, got one, finally got one, you guys. There we go. I think it's a, oh, that's a good smallie. Look at that, you guys. That's a tank of a fish. Oh, 
Yes! Come here, Bubba. Woo! That is a beautiful bass. Oh my word. All right, I gotta go get my net. Oh, yeah. Hot diggity dog. Woo! <laughs> here, I gotta go get my pliers. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? <laughs> Finally. Oh, it's beautiful. All right, buddy. I'll go ahead and send you on your way home. You gotta stay out of trouble. Yep, there he goes. Yes! <laughs> Let's effing go! Yo, this dog is just giving me the stare like I got a problem with him. We don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> right, what? what? What do you want from me? I got nothing to say to you. You are just as guilty as charmed. Don't give me that look now, come on. <laughs> I knew it, I knew you, I knew it. Uh, FYI everyone, just ignored the mess in my car, but I just wanted to go over real quick on like, what exactly I was using to catch some of the bass while I was down state fishing for the weekend. The exact lure that I use, oh, hold on a second, see if I can move this hula junk out of the way. All right. Hmm. 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 I have this love-hate relationship for fishing sometimes. I don't know why I do. Here. Can you guys give me one moment, please? Thank you. Okay, so the exact lure that I used to catch the smallmouth this past weekend, everybody, was actually using this Strike King KVD 5XD crankbait here. And this thing was absolutely a really good sized lure. And like, you guys are comparing it to my hand, it's almost, it's a pretty good sized lure here. And most, some people out there that don't know much about fishing might think, well, that's a pretty big lure for bass fishing, don't you think? Well, believe it or not, you guys, when it comes to the spawning season for bass, when it's just getting started, they're gonna go after some of the hard baits at first because really some of their favorite regular food items are still not up and moving around just yet so with all these hard lures and they actually make a lot of noise in the water like that that's what's going to be making in the water that's going to actually trigger a bass to respond to that noise and it's actually going to want to come up and probably eat it so with that being said though this bait really topped it off you guys and uh i just can't wait to test this scene out again this weekend and hopefully we can catch some more you guys for my second channel which you guys if you haven't subbed to it go ahead and check out jim goes fishing and with that being said everybody i'm just gonna go ahead and put this thing back before we start seeing some bugs start flying into my car because i do not want to have a swarm of insects living in my car oh and fun fact you guys by the way did i tell you guys that my pb smallmouth actually that i caught was a 4.12 pounder and it was on this exact crankbait right here this bright orange little crankbait bait made by Ozark Trail you guys and so far I've tested it out and I did catch another smallie just earlier not long ago before I started recording my other channel video with this exact lure so I'm hoping that big smallmouth that I caught last year and that in the area where I'm going to here pretty soon is still there and hopefully fingers crossed that maybe this bass that I'm about to catch again hopefully is a five pounder because that's the goal here for 2023 you guys is to catch my first five pound bass so whether or not snakes can actually, well, not just snakes, but all reptiles, I should be saying, is that whether or not if all reptiles can feel love or not, it just really is a very interesting um, controversy in the reptile community. And it's just very, very complicated. And really, who knows whether reptiles do show capability of affection. But when it comes to snakes, though, in particular, I don't know if it's going to be, po I don't think it's possible, everybody. So, with that being said, I just really don't think it's possible. Only with snakes, but when it comes to other animals, whether it's like tortoises, turtles, or even lizards for that matter, it could be possible with all those kind of other reptiles. But the snakes, though, we can definitely 
we can definitely remove them from the question. So, with that being said, though, with snakes that I own, you know, the only reptile I've ever owned, I guess it can really say, though, these animals may not show the, that affection, but I think they also do realize that I'm really taking care of them and I'm not a threat to them. And I'm not actually trying to, you know, harm them in any sort of way. In reality, Maybe they do, sh not, like I said, maybe they not show the affection on the outside, but maybe they feel a little love, maybe in the inside. I mean, that's just a, just a thought. So regardless though, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just conclude it for today's video, everybody. But before I end that video, guys, you guys do need to do me a huge favor. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Smash that like button with a sludge hammer, you guys, until it shatters to pieces. So with that being said, me and Tyson are gonna sign off here, everybody. And we'll see you next time.